After years and years of telling customers to be patient and assuring us that magazine cases were coming, it's official. CBCS have entered into the magazine grading business and I'm gonna tell you all about it. A few weeks back, I was contacted by CBCS to see if I would like the opportunity to check out one of their brand new magazine slabs prior to the service going live. Naturally, I said I'd be excited to take a look. The book came in while I was out of town for a week, and now I've been playing a bit of catch up, but it's working out nicely as CBCS has, since I received the book, announced the launch of the magazine grading service that goes along with the slab. So not only can I let you know my thoughts about the new case, but I'll also be able to fill you in on the details of the new magazine grading service. Value ranges, turnaround times, fees, we've got it all. So let's kick this off by taking a look at the new case. My first impression of this thing is that it's an absolute tank. It is a whopper of a case. It's, it's big, real big. And not only that, it's thick and it's heavy. Don't mistake those comments as negative in nature because all of those things are quality that an outer well needs, especially for books of this size. I mean, a quick note, I'm gonna be comparing this new CBCS case to the original CGC magazine case, as I have not yet had a chance to take a look at CGC's new magazine case that has just recently started shipping. I've heard that there've been a lot of improvements with the holder and I'm looking forward to seeing the changes they've made as well. That said, this new CBCS magazine slab is in most ways just an oversized version of the updated CBCS comic book case that came out back in 2020. The construction of this magazine case is very similar to the updated comic slab. And like that improved comic slab, the most impressive aspect of the magazine well is its strength. This thing doesn't creak, pop, crack, or groan. All of which with the original CGC magazine case were exceptionally common. For example, I recently acquired some slabbed early Mirage TMNT books, and they're in that first wave CGC magazine case that I was mentioning. And honestly, I hate touching them. I absolutely love the books, but I'm terrified to touch the damn things because that outer well does not feel like it's up to the job and the noises that come out of those things are enough to make any collector's toes curl. I get none of those sensations from this new CBCS magazine case. It, it's bomb proof. This magazine case is made out of CBCS's newer outer well plastic, so it's really quite clear. Uh, this book's a little bit darker, um, but the color transfer through it, that red really pops, and it looks good. It's a really good looking slab. In a side-by-side -side comparison, I don't think the new magazine well is quite as clear as the comic book outer well, but it's still noticeably clearer than the plastic on those original CGC magazine cases. And one of the features CBCS carried over from those latest comic book cases is the wraparound label. I've always enjoyed the look of this fuller width label across the top. Additionally, the magazine wells also have the ridge lock design where multiple slabs can kind of lock together when you stack them up, just like the comic wells do. The outer well is deep enough that it can hold a rather thick magazine. Just eyeballing it, it looks like a book twice the depth of this Swamp Thing black label book that was provided could have fit inside the well easily. And even with all of the excess space in the outer well, the inner well is still secure inside 
of the outer well with no indication of sliding, rattling, or shifting within. And if you've had any recent CGC slabs, I've noticed that um, and it's not really the most assuring thing to be able to take your slab and sit there and, and rattle it. So happy to see that that is not an issue here. One other thing that caught my eye is that the label for the provided book is a lighter shade of blue than my last shipment of comics from CBCS. So I'm not sure that that color will be exclusive to the magazines or maybe I'm just a little bit behind on the latest color tones on the labels for CBCS. It has been a bit since I've sent some books in for grading. Ultimately though, the new magazine case feels just short of bomb proof, like I said. I have no reservations picking this slab up, handling it, doing anything I want to in any way with it. The book inside presents well and appears to be safely protected within. There's no flex or give with this holder, even when you press in the very center of it, where you would expect it to be the weakest. So if you're looking for an option to protect those oversized comics or magazines in your collection, the new CBCS magazine case may be just what you're looking for. And you know, if it comes down to it, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, you may even be able to defend yourself with one of these things in a pinch. It's that beefy. Let's talk pricing. When CBCS unveiled the magazine grading service, they announced a special introductory grading price of $25 per book. If that sounds pretty good, honestly, that's because it is. The $25 fee is applicable for the standard tier with a 30 day turnaround time for books with a maximum value of $1,000. So if you want your books back faster, there are additional tiers with shorter round turnaround times, but those come for a higher fee. The priority tier has a 20 day turnaround time for $35 per book. The express tier is just a 10 day turnaround time for $50 per book. But both of the higher tiers are for books with maximum value of $1,000. For books valued up to $5,000, the priority and express tiers are open for $55,000 and $75,000 respectively. And if you've got something pretty baller that's valued above five k the premium tier is there for you with a five day turnaround time and a $120 per book fee. When compared to CGC's pricing, CBCS is definitely hitting the market with a competitive price point. The same $25 per book entry level fee that CBCS is opening up with will only get you a modern magazine described as 1975 to present valued at just $400 or less over at CGC. And that comes with a 60 day turnaround time. To get up to magazines valued at $1,000, it's gonna set you back $85 per book at CGC though that $85 will get you a 15 day turnaround time. I'd like to say thank you to CBCS for reaching out and sending me a sample of this new magazine slab. It's great to see promises made to the collecting community being kept and the patience of collectors honestly being rewarded. Ever since CBCS first came onto the third party grading scene, there's been questions about magazine encapsulation and the moments finally arrived. The quality of this new magazine holder is top notch, hands down. It's safe to say that I think it's been worth the wait. If you're looking for additional comic book content, check out one of the videos I've got over here. Collect responsibly, and I'll see you in the next one.